everybody, time for another episode of This Week in Real Estate, and I hope this will keep you up to date with some local information about the East Central Indiana housing market and current trends in order to make you a little bit more knowledgeable about where you work, live, and play. So thanks again for uh, joining me. And looking kind of into last week, this is kind of a recap show, if you will. We had the good news of Solomon being uh, COVID negative. So that's that was awesome. That came on, I can't remember, late Tuesday, late Wednesday. I think it was late Wednesday. So the, the first half of last week was kind of similar to the prior two weeks, essentially, of a lot of um, contract work and phone calls and asking favors of my office mates to do different things outside of the office for me. So that was that was good. And so then the later uh, later half of the week was being able to be out amongst everybody and kind of catching up on some of the stuff that I was not able to do earlier in the week. So it was it was kind of a uh, hurried latter half of the week, but got a lot of things accomplished and latter half of the week was getting ready for the rest of this week. But had a lot of um, Zoom meetings as usual, both work related and kind of the extracurricular stuff. And if I have a pet peeve, let me let me demonstrate. Um, this happened a few times. And so not only a pet peeve, hopefully it'll help you out in the future once you're on these calls. But do not, I have two tips basically, do not eat or drink during your meeting. Now I have broken this rule before where uh, if it's in the morning or, or whatever, I do have my cup of coffee with me. And if I could demonstrate, I, I usually have a coffee mug and I'm back here and yep, doing that thing. But what I've found a couple of times is specifically if you have like a lunch meeting where people are actually eating lunch during your Zoom call, which I, again, don't suggest you doing. I, I have a have my drink here and we'll call this bowl. We'll call this a sandwich because this has happened multiple times on one of my one of my meeting calls where the person eating said sandwich and it was a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I knew because when they were eating it, obviously you don't want to drag, I, I guess, your sandwich across your keyboard over your lap and, and, and maybe make a mess of yourself. So instinctively, I, I guess everybody would, and this person did as well, you know, would lean into her sandwich. Well, guess what happens when you lean into your sandwich? You lean into the camera as well. So this sandwich became most of the camera, and then you saw the big old bites happening and stuff like that. Not uh, even Zoom calls, they don't have to be 100% professional by any means, but that was very distracting. And the same was with the drink, you know, when it was up here and they get real close to their to their drink. So uh, that is a pet peeve and in my opinion, a Zoom no-no. The other one that I broke and I'll, I'll tattle on myself, uh, embarrass myself a couple times, would be since I was working from home, would be when the kids, I was in my own space, my own room, but the kids were outside the door, you know, doing what kids do and being loud or, or whatever. What I didn't do was mute myself as I thought I did. So uh, I would be sitting there during the meeting, listening attentively, and then all of a sudden kind of do one of these, hey, be quiet back there, you know, uh, without muting myself or stopping the video of myself. So yeah, I did that twice last week. Kind of embarrassing, but uh, hopefully I learned from my own mistakes and don't do that again. So uh, I apologize to everybody who was on that call and you heard me yelling at my children. So joys of quarantine and, and homeschooling and all that good stuff. So uh, like I said, the, la the later half of the week was getting ready for this week. Um, with the short week we have here, we had a lot of stuff trying to, trying to get ready and, and done before Thanksgiving break. Title companies, for the most part, governments, for the most part, they don't work. And they may work Wednesday, maybe, but not Thursday, not Friday. So we tried to hurry along and, and get everything settled that we could before Thanksgiving. 
And then on a, on a personal note, again, staying at home, I was had some more time to kind of work on some projects, was able to uh, get my deer this year, which I, I didn't get one last year. I really didn't even go hunting last year. We were moving and, and, and getting two houses ready at the same time. So I didn't go at all. So that was good. Got the deer this year. And then uh, that was that was over the weekend. And then now we're into this week. It's Monday. It's the 23rd. So today, as you can see, my office, I'm in the office today and it's a wreck. I don't know if you can see. There's just stuff everywhere. So I hope to address that sooner than later. But some of you uh, either today, tomorrow, or hopefully today and tomorrow, you might see me dropping by. So that will be a surprise. I have some stuff going out in the mail. That will be a surprise to some people. So that's good there. And then um, at least two closings, one still up in the air that may have to be pushed into next week. So that's kind of what I'm preparing for um, today and the next two and a half days. So that's what I got. So if uh, you have any questions, don't feel afraid to reach out with any questions or comments, uh, either on this platform here or on my cell phone, 765-717-2407. So if I don't see you, don't talk to you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we will see you in about a week. See ya.